What is going on, Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global here back with another video. And in this one, we're going to be talking about how the New England Patriots have met with Alabama draft prospect Mac Jones at the Senior Bowl. Real quick, though, guys, go ahead right now and check out the pinned comment or the first link in the description box below to learn how you can win a PS5 and a 4K video converter. Pretty cool thing. Go ahead and check it out, guys. It's completely free, so you really got nothing to lose. Now, of course, by now we all do know who Mac Jones is. Mac Jones isn't considered one of the top four quarterbacks in this upcoming 2021 draft. That, of course, being a Zach Wilson, a Trevor Lawrence, a Justin Fields, or a Trey Lance, but... I would definitely consider him top five, and he just continues to rise on top of boards. Now, I did recently make a video on why I think Mac Jones is the perfect fit for the New England Patriots, so I'm not going to get too much into that. If you want to know all about my thought process on that, you can go ahead and check out that video. I will link it in the description box below. But at this point, Mac Jones is pretty much proven himself. I mean, especially after he was able to take the Crimson Tide. He led the Crimson Tide to a national championship earlier this month. Despite him pretty much being proven, he still has decided to go ahead and play and perform in the Senior Bowl practice, in these Senior Bowl practices. And that's something, again, he doesn't have to do. This is something you're not seeing these other top quarterbacks do. You know, you don't see a Zach Wilson, a, a Trey Lance, a Trevor Lawrence. None of these guys are doing that. And again, Mac Jones at this point has proven himself. He doesn't need to do this. But I think this just goes back to his work ethic. You know, you can never do enough. You can never be done. And he's just continuing to try to staple himself and what he can do before the draft does come up. Now, the Patriots scouts did meet with Mac Jones on Wednesday night. They do have some scouts actually at the Senior Bowl, of course, Belichick, whatnot. You know, Belichick is not actually down there. But I guess you can call them Belichick's goons who are kind of doing that research for, for Belichick and then coming back to him with what they've seen, what they saw, etc. And I want to start off by saying, before we kind of get into what Mac Jones had to say about his meeting with the Patriots, it's just that this is going to be extremely important. If news comes out that the Patriots are meeting with certain players at the Senior Bowl, that's big, okay? Multiple, multiple times, the Patriots have actually selected guys in the draft that they have met with at the Senior Bowl. I mean, I believe they're one of the top teams, I think the, the number one team who has actually drafted the most amount of players that they've met at the Senior Bowl. It's like 40 something, I think like 43, something like that. I believe they just also did so this past draft with Kyle Duggar. And this season, it makes it even more important. It makes it even more of something to watch because of COVID-19. Because of this, a lot of teams will not be able to, you know, go to the combine and, and have their meetings and have players fly out to the organization to meet with them like they've done every single year. At this point, it's going to be coming down to what they see on the field from these players, their highlight reels, their film, the virtual aspect that they can actually get, and then really just hoping that they can rely on their scouting department to develop these guys into something that can help the team out. And Belichick loves the guys that he's able to to be confirmed about the guys that he's able to meet with and be like okay I know what I'm getting from you we've talked to you you know we're not just randomly jumping into the situation where look I don't know you I don't talk to you I have not worked one-on-one -on -one with you but yet I'm going to draft you so I think the fact that he himself well not he himself but the Patriots organization and the scouts have met with Mac Jones could be very telling on him being a potential draft pick for the Pats now, this is what Mac Jones had to say about meeting with the Patriots scouts on Wednesday night. He said, and I quote, I sat down at their table and we had a good conversation. We talked and they got to know me really well. He also said that he thought the Patriots were really cool and that they asked some really good questions. 
From what it sounds like, the conversation was very positive. It was a very good conversation. And the Patriots were asking some very in-depth questions. I think this kind of goes to show that they really do have a level of interest in Mac Jones. And why they do makes perfect sense. Again, because I think he is a perfect fit in New England. Now, something to actually watch here with Mac Jones is the fact that he did tweak his left ankle And there is a chance that he's not going to actually play in the Senior Bowl. You know, the Patriots were able to see him in practices and whatnot, which of course really helped out Mac Jones' stock. But if he is dealing with this injury, that could potentially play a role on where he could get taken in the draft. I don't see it being a big thing because this doesn't seem like a big injury, but it could always help a little bit. If he doesn't play in the Senior Bowl because he needs to get treatment, maybe that pans out a little bit well for the Patriots. What I will say here about Mac Jones is that the Patriots could very well have him at 15. But like I said on my community post, for those saying get him in the second round, for those saying he could be a potential pick for the Patriots in round two, Mac Jones is not going to get there. Mac Jones is not going to get to round two. Maybe he drops later in the first, maybe. But he's not going to drop to the point where he becomes a second round pick. He's way too talented. He's climbing up draft boards tremendously. Now, I don't see him going above guys like uh, Zach Wilson, Justin Fields, Trevor Lawrence, Trey Lance, the top four guys. I, I don't see him going above them, but... I don't see another quarterback like Kyle Trask or another QB at this point coming and taking that place from a Mac Jones. I think it's going to be very evident on can the Patriots get him based off of how the other four quarterbacks play throughout the draft, how the board kind of goes along. Because there are definitely some sneaky teams that could potentially take a quarterback. You know, the Detroit Lions are a team that could be looking for a quarterback. The Denver Broncos could potentially be looking for a quarterback. The 49ers could potentially be looking for a quarterback, right? These are all teams that are above the Patriots draft-wise. And of course, that's not to mention the other teams that could potentially be taking a quarterback, the Carolina Panthers, the Jets. The Jags 100% will be taking a quarterback at number one. So if the Patriots truly fall in love with Mac Jones, he ends up being their guy. We're going to have to see how the draft board pans out that day, but it could be a situation where if the Patriots want Mac Jones that bad, they might have to trade up a little bit. Honestly, guys, for me, when it comes to quarterbacks out of the top five in this draft, I'm not even taking a look. When we look at the past few drafts, the last few years, no quarterbacks out of the first round have become anything in the NFL. It's not like the NFL was a few years ago, right? Multiple years ago, when you had guys like Drew Brees, when you had guys like uh, Russell Wilson, who you could get in later rounds. I even believe Dak Prescott was a later round pick too, That could end up being starting caliber elite quarterbacks. It's become very evident and very true to the fact that if you want an elite quarterback who is going to be your franchise quarterback, you're going to have to get him in the first round. You're going to have to potentially trade up for him because the days of, of getting guys in the second, third, fourth round... Those days really aren't here. You can get some decent quarterbacks in these rounds, yes, but you're not going to find your elite franchise quarterback in these mid to later rounds like you once could. So honestly, if the Patriots don't get one of those top five quarterbacks that I listed, I'm not taking a quarterback in this draft. Before we end this one, I want to let you guys know about my boys over at BetOnline.ag. The Super Bowl is here, and you can get in with all of that action over at BetOnline. Tampa Bay is the first team in history to play for the title on their home field and is currently a a three-and-a-half-point underdog. And then, of course, you have Kansas City, who is looking to go for those back-to-back titles for the first time in almost two decades. It is Tom Brady the GOAT against what is considered the next in line in Patrick Mahomes. 
Now, BetOnline has hundreds of props on the game, including game MVP, margin of victory, and even the length of the national anthem. Guys, this is always available online or on your mobile device. Go ahead today and visit BetOnline, your online sportsbook expert, experts. Do not sit on the sidelines anymore. Get in on the action and do not forget, guys, do not forget to use that promo code CLNS50 for that 50% off welcome bonus on your first deposit. BetOnline, your online sportsbook experts. Like I said, y'all, Mac Jones is definitely climbing up charts and he's definitely going to be taken in the first round. Is it going to be before the Patriots pick at 15? Is it going to be after? We're just going to have to see how things continue to pan out. But Mac Jones, ever since high school, has been a quarterback who has performed extremely well, even before he had some of the best weapons in college history over at Alabama. There's a lot to like about the kid. It seems like Belichick and the Patriots are definitely keeping their eye on him. We'll have to see how things pan out, and we'll definitely continue to talk about this storyline. But like always, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for all of your New England Patriots news. Remember to give this video a big, big thumbs up. It would really, really mean the world to me. It helps me and the channel out tremendously, along with telling your friends about the channel and sharing the video. Like always, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.